Dr. Larkin, I have a couple of questions for you. Um, you said publicly that you sold Backpage in 2014. Who did you sell Backpage to? <clears throat> After consultation with counsel, I decline to answer your question based on the rights provided by the First and the Fifth Amendment. Back in 2014, it was reported that Backpage was sold to a mysterious Dutch entity, as you know. Uh, we now know that mysterious Dutch entity is actually uh, Mr. Farrar, who's here today. Um, we have uncovered that and also information that you and Mr. Larkin loaned him about 600 million bucks to buy your company from you. Um, until he pays off that loan, we also uncovered that you and Mr. Lacey um, continue to enjoy significant control over the company. Uh, Mr. Larkin, don't you still exercise substantial direction and control over Backpage? After consultation with counsel, I decline to answer your question based on the rights provided by the First and the Fifth Amendments. Uh, okay, let's talk about um, the role that um, you and Mr. Lacey have played in the concealment practices we've reported on this morning. As you know, we've reviewed over one million pages of Backpage's internal documents now. Many of those documents include extensive discussion of editing advertisements inside the company. That certainly was not a secret. Uh, but it appears that you instructed Mr. Ferrer and others to make sure it stayed a secret from outsiders. Backpage's official public statements and public interviews, usually given by uh, Ms. McDougal, who we'll hear from in a moment, said nothing about Backpage's real moderation system, deleting words that reveal illegality, posting the advertisement and taking the money. Uh, it's not hard to guess why you didn't want anybody to know about that. Which brings me to an email you wrote in 2011 to Carl Ferrer. Uh, this is on page 432 of the appendix, uh, which you have before you. Um, you wrote this, I want you to think about any of the information in this being made public. We need to stay away from the very idea of editing posts as you know, end quote. So, Mr. Larkin, is the reason you needed to, quote, stay away from the very idea of editing the posts, end quote, that you knew that editing posts means that you really don't have this protection under the Communications Decency Act, the immunity that you've been selling to courts all around the country, meaning that you could be sued and prosecuted for back pages conduct just like anyone else. Is that the reason that you needed to as you said, stay away from the very idea of editing those posts. <clears throat> After consultation with counsel, I declined to answer your question based on the rights provided by the First and the Fifth Amendments. Uh, Mr. Lecter, is, your, is it your intention to invoke your Fifth Amendment privilege uh, with respect to questions on any topic? Yes, sir. Again, the subcommittee respects that assertion of the Fifth Amendment, and on that basis, uh, you'll be excused at the conclusion of this panel.